The Northern Party nominated its candidate for the upcoming presidential elections, a public headquarters of the presidential candidate Nur Sultan Nazarbayev established in Astana. The way to the implementation of the strategy Kazakhstan 2050, five constitutional reforms proposed by the president. Ages interconnected by one thread. Where do the origins of the Kazakhanate start? The country is preparing to celebrate the 550th anniversary of the Kazakhanate. The leader in the field of alternative energy, the Netherlands, is ready to participate in the Expo 2017. The country has received an official invitation to the Astana Expo 2017. Colorful style and national flavor. The guests of the fashion show in New York were astonished by the collection of the Kazakh fashion house Simbat. Good evening, I'm Rahim Shakbayev and this is Kazakhstan Weekly, where we summarize the major local and international news of the past week. Our tonight's guest is a known public figure, Adil Akhmetov. Mr. Akhmetov, I'm glad to see you. Mm. The main and perhaps the most expected news of the week is that Nur Sultan Zarbayev will participate in the upcoming presidential elections. The Nur Atan party has nominated its chairman, the incumbent president, as a candidate for the upcoming elections on April 26. This event took place on March 11 at the party congress which was attended by more than 1,200 delegates representing all countries' regions. Let's find out news more about the election campaign. According to the legislation of Kazakhstan, the presidential nominees have to pass the state language test before collecting signatures in their support that have to be over 93,012 in total. Nur Sultan Nazarbayev is completely fluent in Kazakh as confirmed by the Linguistic Commission, which didn't find any grammar, punctuation or stylistic errors in the assignments. Several political parties such as the Socio-Democratic Party Awil, the Democratic Party Akjol, the Patriotic Party of Kazakhstan and Berlik all have supported Nazarbayev's nomination and refused to nominate their own contenders. For information, Berlik is the most recently registered party. Among others on the list, it was formed by a merge of two other parties, Adelet and Ukhania, two years ago. A special public campaign group was created due to a busy schedule of the current president, which prevents him from actively participating in the election campaign personally. It includes countries' heads of the leading political parties and public associations, prominent representatives of national science, culture and art, national sports stars, business leaders, popular journalists, union leaders and many other famous people of Kazakhstan. Mukhtar Kul Muhammad was appointed to head the campaign group. He outlined the priorities of the new social formation at a special briefing in Astana. Two days before the applicant's registration deadline, Mel Zielo the famous public figure, also applied for the snap election. He has been heading the Ecology Protection Union, Tabigat, for 25 years. The current election campaign will be his third in his career. He collected 0.28% of votes in 2005 and 1.15% of votes in 2011. As he says, he takes part in election in order to attract people's attention to ecologic issues. Thus, according to the data on March 13, the CEC received 23 applications for registration. 21 of them were self-nominates. Four contenders have been allowed to the election based on the requirements for the candidates for the presidency by the Constitution and the constitutional law on elections in the Republic of Kazakhstan. They are the current president, Nur Sultan Nazarbayev, the head of the Rouhani Kogam Alemi Public Fund, Liman Koshiva, the secretary of the Central Committee of Kazakh Communist People's Party, Turgun Sizdikov, and the unemployed Kanat Turagildiev. Nur Sultan Nazarbayev's nomination for snap election has become a manifestation of mass public demand for the continuation of the pursued policy. The Berlik Party is the party of national unity, according to its political principles and values. It expresses strong support for Nazarbayev's nomination for the upcoming snap election scheduled on April 26, 2015. The current head of state, like no other, profoundly knows what it takes to implement the planned programs for economic recovery. As well as the solution of urgent issues, he also knows how to improve the welfare of the citizens. Being interested in the successful and dynamic development of Kazakhstan, the party I will expresses its full support for the nomination of the president of Kazakhstan, Nur Sultan Nazarbayev, to participate in the presidential election. The Patriotic Party of Kazakhstan is preparing for the upcoming presidential elections with full responsibility. We support the nomination of the current president, Nur Sultan Nazarbayev, in the upcoming elections on April 26. 
Supporting the candidacy of Nur Sultan Nazarbayev, we want to preserve and further strengthen political stability in the country to ensure the inter-ethnic, inter-religious and social harmony, which is a pledge of our unity and well-being. I am absolutely sure that the nomination of Nur Sultan Nazarbayev will provide unity and strengthen the creative energy of our people. It will allow it more closely to consolidate and become stronger for the sake of prosperity of our country. So, Mr. Akhmetov, tomorrow is deadline for the nomination of candidates for the presidency. What you can say about the election campaign at the moment? I would say the election campaign is going on according to the schedule, I would say. Up till now, uh, 23 uh, nominees uh, uh, tried to be registered at the Central Election Commission, but uh, regretfully, uh, most of them are self nominees and uh, they didn't answer the requirements. Most of them didn't uh, answer the requirements of the uh, selection com commission and only four of them passed all the requirements, I would say, uh, uh, linguistic examination and uh, only four of them. Uh, besides that, uh, many uh, parties uh, didn't nominate their uh, candidates because all of them supported the president. Uh, but the the control, control yeah, refused yeah. to participate. But the uh, Communist Party uh, nominated its own uh, candid uh, candidate and uh, I think uh, for the time being four candidates are registered. And uh, everything is um, going on according to the constitutional law and uh, everything is going well. Uh, I think, uh, uh, I, I don't expect that uh, some new candidates will be registered because only two days have left uh, till the day uh, when uh, self-nominees or organizations can nominate their uh, candidates. Let's see and wait. According to experts, the 16th Congress of the Norotan Party, which has held last week, was very significant. A new candidate was nominated for the upcoming presidential election. In addition, Nazarbayev had proposed five major reforms regarding civil service, the rule of law, industrialization and diversification of the domestic economy. Among primary goals, Nusultan Nazarbayev called the formation of a single Kazakh nation and building a transparent state. Let's watch the next story to find out more. The first reform will cover the civil service. Nur Sultan Nazarbayev noted that personnel without the experience in state agencies should not be appointed to high posts. According to the president, he himself started his career as a metallurgist and passed all stages of career from the very bottom. He also noted that important public projects suffer from the incompetence of some officials at various levels. Because of the low wages, the public service doesn't attract specialists. All these issues affect the proper operation of the state's institutions and they must be solved, said the head of state. A new system of remuneration of civil servants will help achieve this. Political and administrative employees will receive bonuses and rewards based on their results. Also, the requirements for employment at the ministries and state agencies will be tightened. The officials must be proficient in English, the president stressed. It will not happen immediately, and it is connected to the fact that civil servants have to negotiate with large transnational companies operating in Kazakhstan. The second reform is the rule of law. Courts and law enforcement agencies must be open to public as much as possible. The police should work so that they, to increase public confidence towards their work. Today, citizens have little trust that a traffic police officer could find a mayor or a minister. The president mentioned the recent case with the U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry, who was fined for not clearing the snow in front of his house. Nur Sultan Nazarbayev also believes that it is necessary to apply more information technologies in the law enforcement system to introduce a new system of professional psychological selection of candidates to the police. The third reform will cover industrialization. The head of state said that industrialization and the manufacturing sector has not yet become a real driver for economic growth. He said new challenges for the Minister of Investments and Development. Asati Sikashev must conduct extensive work on simplification of tariffs in the Eurasian Economic Union and provide the dynamics of economic development. There is also a specific task to create three, four domestic products that would be recognized around the world. 
Nur Sultan Nazarbayev also paid attention to the largest city of the country, Almaty. According to him, the process of creating a financial center in Almaty has stalled. It is important to ensure without delay a special status of Almaty with its own law for business as it was done in Dubai and other countries. The fourth reform covers inter-ethnic harmony. The president set the task to maintain harmony and unity between ethnic groups. And the fifth reform will be based on the four previous ones. It is to create an accountable, transparent and liberal state. It is planned to expand the practice of reporting by government agencies that mayors and governors would announce the results of the work through the internet two times a year. And the citizens will be actively involved in decision-making of government agencies at all levels. It is also being planned to strengthen the role of community councils at state agencies and governor's offices. Representatives of civil society will be allowed to participate in the distribution of budget funds in the regions. Finally, the main novelty, Nur Sultan Nazarbayev instructed to carry out the constitutional reform that would involve the redistribution of powers from the president to the parliament and the government. Immediately after the Congress, the President held a meeting with the mayors of Astana, Almaty and regional governors. Mr. Ahmedov, uh, uh, which of the problems voiced by the President are the most important today, in your opinion? I would say almost all of them are very important. Uh, let's, uh, I mean, uh, those five uh, reforms. First of all, um, uh, the rule of law, or civil, uh, civil service, for example, was underlined by the president. Direction uh, number one. Yes, it is number one because everything depends on the civil ser servants. And uh, the president underlined that uh, they should uh, be nominated uh, not uh, according to their uh, results of their work. And uh, they should be raised from the grassroots. Mm -hmm. And uh, they should go through the hierarchy of the uh, civil uh, service area. Otherwise, sometimes, for example, some um, for high, for example, posts, uh, some unexperienced people are nominated, and uh, because of that, the whole project suffers. And it's true. And the president, I think, uh, uh, from this uh, point of view, the president was very right. And uh, on the other hand, the president uh, said that the, all the ministers and uh, major, for example, managers of the state should um, uh, have a good command of the English language. Uh, I think it's uh, also a good requirement. Let's take, uh, for example, Singapore's example. In Singapore, for example, the English language is the business language. And it is the uh, language of uh, uh, technology, science, research, and so on and so forth. And uh, that's why the president uh, has again underlined the role of the English language. Mm -hmm. And uh, besides that, uh, uh, using the Bolashak uh, scholarship, for example, very many young people uh, are getting educated uh, abroad in the best uh, universities of abroad. Uh, and uh, all of them have good command of the English language. And they can be attracted uh, to the civil service area. And the president underlined it. And the rule of law. And the president uh, very uh, clearly underlined that uh, courts uh, and, uh, for example, interior, Ministry of Interior, for example, all other ministries should be very pre transparent. Uh, first of all, they should uh, get the trust of the uh, society, people. People, if people trust, for example, the state, the government, everything will go smoothly. And that's why uh, uh, his second point, rule of law, is very important. Is very important. And of course, industrialization uh, is a very important area. And uh, he underlined that uh, manufacturing sector should, be, should prevail, uh, the mining sector, for example. Uh, otherwise, we use raw, raw materials. But for the time being, for example, uh, due to the uh, industrial programs, for example, Kazakhstan has uh, achieved a lot of uh, good results. And uh, this, uh, these programs will go on. And of course, uh, the final aim is uh, to create, uh, to uh, perform or to form an eternal state on the basis of those requirements. Mm -hmm. And all these uh, requirements, all these reforms are very, very serious. And I think um, 
main target is 2050. 50. And uh, uh, if you remember, the president uh, uh, underlined that uh, Kazakhstan should come, should be one of the 30 most developed countries in the world. And on the basis of these reforms, I think Kazakhstan can achieve these targets. The members of the Grand National Assembly of Turkey, scientists, public figures and students discussed the history of Kazakhanate in Ankara as a scientific and practical conference dedicated to the history of Kazakhs and the whole Turkic world was held to mark the year of 550th anniversary of Kazakhanate. This year Kazakhstan will celebrate the 550th anniversary of the Kazakh Khanate. In 1465, Kerry and Janibek formed the first Khanate and historians consider that time is the beginning of the statehood of the Kazakhs. The idea to celebrate the memorable date was proposed by Nur Sultan Nazarbayev to ensure the historical continuity of generations preserve and pass on the traditions of the descendants of the local people. The total cost of the celebrations is expected to amount to about 23 billion tenge. Jubilee events will take place across the country. The center of, of the events will be the city of Taraz, which has a special history. The Kazakhanate was founded in this region many years ago between the rivers of Talas and Shu. The main celebrations in the Jambal region are scheduled for September. They will be held in the form of theatrical performance. Also, there will be a Republican IT among icons dedicated to the national idea of Mangalik Yel. A monument to the 550th anniversary of the Kazakhanate will be opened in Taraz. There will be an exhibition and competition in national sports. Also, 10 serious film, animation and documentary films about the Kazakhanate will be shot. Additional funds will be allocated from the state budget for the publication of the trilogy of Ilyas Yesen Berlin, Nomads. The world community has already shown interest in the celebration of the anniversary. For instance, the Scientific Practical Conference was held in Turkey, dedicated to the history of the Kazakhanate and its role in the development of modern Kazakhstan. Experts note that the 550th anniversary of the Kazakhanate is not only the past, but also the goal which is necessary to be reached in the future. This is one of the possibilities to implement the idea of Kazakh President Nur Sultan Nazarbayev, Mangalik Yel, the eternal nation. Representatives of the scientific community of the two countries have agreed to join efforts to study history and cultural traditions of the Turkic states. The 550th anniversary of the Kazakhanate is a very important and significant event, not only for Kazakhstan, but also for all countries of the Turkic world. We have common roots, common history. Therefore, for all of us, it will be an honor to celebrate the anniversary. So, Mr. Ahmedov, do you share the point of view that the uh, process of formation of a Kazakhanate uh, is not only a tribute of our history, but also a step of into the future? Yes, I do. Uh, you are quite right. And the uh, uh, 450th anniversary of Kazakh Khanate is being marked in Kazakhstan very widely because it is the beginning of the Kazakh statehood. And uh, in this connection, I would like to stress that uh, this memorable date is being uh, marked not only within the country, but outside the country. Just recently, for example, I w also participated in one conference uh, just you have mentioned in Turkey, uh, in uh, Hoca Tepe uh, University, uh, uh, the, uh, this anniversary was also marked. And in conjunction with the Kazakh embassy in Ankara, uh, and also uh, Turkic Academy participated, and I made a report there related uh, to the uh, anniversary of Kazakh Khanate. And uh, this date is very important for Kazakhstan itself, but not only for Kazakhstan, it is also very important for all the Turkic world, because all the Turkic countries have common roots, common culture, common traditions, common history, and from this point of view, this date is uh, uh, very important for the whole Turkic world. That's why uh, this uh, memorable uh, date is being marked uh, in Turkey, first of all. By the way, Turkey was the first state who recognized our independence, if you remember, in 1991. And uh, a very um, brotherly, brotherly country. We have almost the same language, the same culture, the same traditions. And Turkey always supports Kazakhstan's achievements in all areas. 
Representatives of the Dutch business community admitted that the theme of the upcoming Expo 2017 in Astana Future Energy is of great interest for them. They confirmed the intention to participate in the preparation and holding of the exhibition for obvious reasons. The Kingdom of the Netherlands is one of the world leaders in the design and creating of the high-tech equipment in the field of renewable energy. Kazakhstan has officially invited the Netherlands to participate in the Expo 2017. The Kingdom of the Netherlands is interested in participating in the Expo 2017 as announced during a work and visit of the Kazakh delegation headed by the Commissioner of the Expo 2017, the first Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs, Rapil Jashibayev, to the Netherlands. During the presentation of the International Specialized Exhibition in The Hague, Jashibayev noted that the Netherlands is Kazakhstan's key trade and economic partner and one of the leading countries in alternative energy sector, so its participation in the exhibition will be of great value. During the negotiations with the Vice Minister of Foreign Trade of the Netherlands, Simon Smits, Rapil Jashibayev handed an official invitation from the President of Kazakhstan addressed to the Prime Minister of the Netherlands, Mark Rutte. Simon Smith said that the theme of Expo 2017 Future Energy is of great interest to the Netherlands and assured the Commissioner of the Expo 2017 that Dutch companies and the business community actively support the exhibition. According to Smith, Dutch entrepreneurs are willing to present their best projects in the exhibition and also to take part in the organization of the Expo 2017. According to the results of the meeting, there are more and more Dutch companies that are interested in the long-term partnership with Kazakhstan. Large companies such as Shell have expressed interest. Shell produces 20% of all solar panels manufactured in the world. We presented President's program Nurlujol, Path to the Future. We told about our plans within this program. They were interested in this information. I think that companies from the Netherlands will participate in the program. Kazakhstan, that you have uh, shown uh, yeah, real leadership in the international community, that you have chosen this team and uh, want to organize this, uh, this specific event. I'm in touch with, with quite a, uh, a wide uh, range of, uh, of uh, uh, commissioners and um, they look really forward to this uh, nice uh, theme of energy um, which will attract a lot of international uh, investors and, uh, and uh, corporate interest. So Mr. Akhmetov, uh, what new perspectives do you think could open for Kazakhstan in a closer cooperation with Dutch companies in the field of renewable energy? First of all, uh, Netherlands is a uh, very important economic and trade uh, partner of Kazakhstan. And uh, this tradition is uh, going on for many years. And by the way, Netherlands yeah, is the investor yeah. number one. Yeah, n number one uh, investor, uh, if, you, if you remember. And uh, from this point of view, uh, our uh, first deputy minister of foreign affairs visit to Netherlands, uh, Joshua Wives' visit was very fruitful. And uh, 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 an exhibition was organized there, uh, representing Kazakhstan's culture, Kazakhstan's uh, achievements, and uh, it was well accepted. And uh, on the other hand, uh, Netherlands uh, is a country which transfers technologies. Even, uh, for example, uh, this Expo 2017 has direct, uh, for example, uh, is closely related to Netherlands because Netherlands is one of the uh, very developed countries in the world, especially in the field of renewable energy. Uh, for example, uh, the company Shell, uh, transnational company Shell, for example, produces 20% of the solar panels and uh, technologically a uh, very advanced country. And uh, 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 Netherlands is committed to participate uh, uh, Expo uh, 2017, not only uh, as a participant, but also uh, 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 this country is committed to organize and uh, to help uh, to promote uh, this exhibition. Because this country has already uh, done uh, this kind of exhi uh, exhibitions very many times and a, a lot of experience will come from that country. A lot of companies are committed to, to come to Kazakhstan and to participate in the exhibition. From this point of view, I think uh, our uh, first uh, Deputy Ministers of Foreign Affairs was very fruitful. Kazakh Academy of Fashion Simbad presented its collection at the fashion show in New York. The Academy has been participating in international shows since 1972 and will soon celebrate its 17th anniversary. 
The Academy is working over traditional dresses. Simbad has already conquered major catwalks of the world. The fashion house has won over 10 international awards in Germany, France, Spain, Russia and Kazakhstan for its technology, quality and creative achievements. The Kazakh designers presented their collections to the well-known American ladies, leaders of women's clubs and fashion experts in the building of the mission of Kazakhstan to the United Nations in New York. The spouse of the UN Secretary General, Ban Su Tak, also was among the honored guests. The art director of the first Kazakhstan fashion house, Balnur Asanova, embodied different traditions, style and national character with hand-embroidered in different tissues in her collection. In a colorful fashion show, American designers also presented their works. Valentina Kova, a designer from New York, perfectly completed the colorful show with her business and evening dresses. With the aim to represent Kazakhstan from different angles, a unique presentation of the country was also included in the program of the show. It was opened by a young and talented singer, Altinai Sapargalieva. According to the visitors, such shows are Kazakhstan's eye-openers for the world in a new way, along with serious discussions on anti-nuclear theme, investment forums, exhibition, fashion industry also gains momentum in Kazakhstan. Many participants of the bright fashion show have never been to Kazakhstan. However, they now intend to change their tourist destinations. I'm impressed. I thought that the workmanship from the designer from Kazakhstan um, certain pieces actually reminded me more of couture because they were very specialized and they had a lot of intricate work. The fashion show is gorgeous. The singer, well, I thought Whitney Houston was in the room, and the film with Kazakhstan is so beautiful. I, now I want to go there. So. We like the fashion show. I think that the pieces were beautiful. You know, the, the, the fabrics, they all, it shows the character of the country. Um, and also the film was very nice. Um, also for us who've never been to Kazakhstan and hopefully we will go to Kazakhstan. So Mr. Ahmed of Kazakhstan is more known in the world as a country with rich na natural resources. But we can see that also in, in other directions uh, of the modern state, such as the fashion, field of fashion industry, so we are also quite strong. What do you think about this? First of all, I would like to underline that I know the president of this academy personally. Balnur Asanova is a very industrious person and a very intellectual lady. And she has been practicing uh, uh, this uh, Kazakhstan fashion all over the world, as you have just mentioned, uh, already 70 years. And uh, several awards were won. Uh, in abroad, uh, including Germany, France, and very many other countries now in the United States of America. And uh, I think um, uh, Kazakh collections uh, won the hearts of the uh, fashion uh, world of uh, New York. As you know, New York is one of the centers of fashion, uh, like, for example, Paris or London or very many other centers. Yeah. yeah. And uh, she was very, uh, Academy was very uh, successful in dem demonstrating its co collections, national clothing, dresses, and so on and so forth. And uh, uh, very many viewers uh, uh, expressed their attitude uh, to the um, demonstration of the collections. And they, uh, they evaluated very highly. And uh, I would say that uh, Sambat is also Kazakhstan's national brand. Uh, in the field of fashion. Uh, we are accustomed to see fashion, for example, in Paris, in London, in very many other centers. But now Kazakhstan is also coming up. And Kazakhstan is doing uh, well, I think. And uh, I'm quite sure that in the future, in future, for example, Sambat um, uh, Academy will be one of the best uh, fashion maker, uh, fashion centers in the world. Uh, it has achieved a lot of results and uh, this academy trains a lot of uh, specialists in the field of fashion. That's why we should be proud of this academy. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Khmedov, for being with us tonight. Uh, looking forward to see you next week. Thank you. Finally, here is a brief preview of the events of the coming week. On Monday, March 16, Brussels will host meeting of the European Council on Foreign Relations. On Tuesday, early parliamentary elections will be held in Israel. We will discuss these and other important events in our next program. Thank you for watching. Best of luck and goodbye.